good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, back with us after a great season of education and learning things and all <laughs> kinds of great stuff. Mamie Sue, hello, how are Hi, you? I'm welcome good. back. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy to see Glenn, you. How's you. everything? Great. Good. I want to remind everybody we're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. We're at 617. 708-3290. And Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phone. So if you'd like to join us, let us know what's going on artistically in your community. We would certainly invite you to do that. Mamie, welcome back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. Well, we missed you. You, uh, I know. you, you We had such a great time last summer with huh? you. Uh, you were uh, our guest, guest host, co-host for, for, for most of the summer, and you're back. I am back, yes. Uh, tell us, uh, well, well, where have you been? <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to school um, out in Minnesota. We had um, snow up until the middle of May. <laughs> we had two feet of snow dump on us the second week of May. And no kidding. I'm not kidding you. It Where was treacherous. We're in Minnesota. Um, we're in a tiny, tiny town about 45 minutes away from what Apple school Valley. is it? You're at? Um, St. Olaf College. St. Olaf. 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 Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. What are you studying? Um, I am, I'm not sure quite yet. Well, you know, um, that first year, you know. I know. But um, so I think right now I've already declared psychology. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm not looking to actually practice psychology, um, but I think I want to use it for other, you know. Other... Oh, it can be used in yeah. so many different fashions. Yeah, that's what you I know, figure. There's all kinds of different yeah. things that can happen. Exactly. Right. Well, well, let's talk a little bit about, I mean, it was your freshman year. Uh-huh. And uh, you, you were away from home, not just away, but away. I know, yeah. <laughs> away from home. Uh, how did that all go for you? Was that okay? It was definitely a change, um, that's for sure. I mean, oh, I think... You're kidding. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> high school definitely, um, I think, prepared me in, in a way. Uh, I went to a very small kind of private school, and it definitely prepared me to kind of take a, a, a bigger, like, bigger picture kind mm -hmm. of look at college. Uh, approaching that, it was it was definitely interesting. Yeah. Um, not without its few hiccups, of course. But well, this, that's called life. Year. Yeah. <laughs> so life has hiccups. Yeah. Now I know that you were you were heavily into theater and, and, you, and you were doing a lot of work like that. Is yes. that, did, did any of that follow you to the Midwest? Or? Um, I'm dancing at school, Good. so um, I'm still dancing and I love to do that. Uh, and I I'm really happy there with that. So mm -hmm. I I'm excited and I think it's it's nice just to be able to dance in school. Yeah. Um, you know, I get to take. Uh, a class as one of, a dance class is one of my credits, which is great because at the end of like a long busy day, you can just go into the studio and it's an hour and a half class. Oh, great! Just kind of has time to you know stretch out on the floor and kind of unwind. What is what is the arts department like in in what's it again? Saint Olaf. Saint Olaf. Yeah. Okay. Well, Saint Olaf College. I'm sure um, it's famous for its its music. So the the choir is always on PBS every year oh, at yeah. their. Um, their huge big Christmas fest. And I actually got to go to that this year for okay. the first time. Uh, well, not the first time, but I got to go when I actually remembered going. Cause I think I went when I was younger, but I don't really remember that. Um, so <laughs> I got to go again, actually being present and appreciating all the great music. And you sit there and they have it in the gymnasium. And you sit there in this in this huge gymnasium on your campus. Um, and you know that the TV cameras are on yeah. filming. but. You get to sit with your classmates and your friends, and just hearing the music and the kids kind of at the end surround the audience on the floor. Nice. And it's this really surreal kind of, I would say almost angelic cool. sort of feeling. And it's, it's really, really fun. Get your fun. emotions going. Get you involved. Yeah, that's for sure. That's great. That's Especially nice. at Christmas time. So. Talk, talk to me about about the dance department there and the theater. Is it is there a theater department? Yes, yeah. there is. Um, uh, is uh, when you say small college, uh, yeah. how many students are we talking about like in a basic? Three thousand. That's a tiny school. Yeah, that's a really so small school. it's smaller, definitely smaller than like a large university, yeah, um, and that's no kind of what I wanted. So. Okay, well, well, that that's very, very exciting. Um, so you're, you're leaning towards psychology. Did you do a liberal arts freshman type thing? Yeah, it's a liberal arts college. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm in a major in psychology and possibly double minor in um, media and management studies. I'm not positive yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. We'll see where it takes me. But right. Um, how many of the students stay on campus? 
Uh, most of them. Most so of them? you are guaranteed housing all four years. Okay. Um, but there, you can apply as a junior to get off campus and to live in the, some of the houses mm -hmm. kind of dabbled uh, down St. Olive Avenue. So, mm -hmm. yeah. one, of, one of the things I'd like you to get into a little bit is um, well, we have a lot of students from around the area that watch. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been, we've been getting a lot of, of high school kids that are paying attention to the school, to the, to the show, and, and from different areas, from all over the place. Sure. Tell, tell us a little bit about that transit, transact, transition from, from high school to college. I mean, high school, someone's probably usually kind of always on you, getting you to do your, yeah. do your gig. College, you got a schedule. It yes. is when it's due, and it's due. Yes. Um, so I, I definitely think, like I said, I went to a, a pretty small private high school, and I think that really prepared me me to transition to college but I did go to public school for a bit and I think honestly the best thing that I can give for anyone to give advice is stay on top of your deadlines mm. and work ahead and plan I, I'm normally a pretty organized schedule person anyway but so it wasn't an issue for me but mm. the people who I saw who did not plan um, I had a few friends who would put off papers for months and do them the night before you're up all night and that's not what you want to do. If someone gives you a month to do a paper, there is a reason <laughs> they give you a month to do that paper and you want to take the full month. Um, and sometimes like at the end of finals, I had started so early on some of my take homes that I, I kind of had half a day where I didn't actually have to do much because I had already worked ahead mm -hmm. on so many of my take homes that I didn't really have to worry about those anymore so I could t take time studying for the ones that I had to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of roommate, I would say um, if you do not get a perfect roommate, which not everybody does, don't worry because there are people that you're going to you're gonna become best friends you're with who are down the hall anyways. with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> two of my best friends actually, one, well, one of them uh, lives down the hall, lived down the hall from me, and she has a twin sister, and so I'm best friends with both of them, and I'm rooming with one of them next year. Oh, well, that's good. So, yeah, it's not like your roommate has to be your best friend. Sometimes no. it happens, and that's cool, too, but sometimes it's not the best thing to live with your best friend. No, because um, there's, there are, see, my freshman year of, of college was, woo! <laughs> right. You know, and I know exactly what you mean by, well, you know, Glenn, you know, that, that paper's due next week. Yeah. And you go, oh. What, chat, what book was that again? Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you end up cramming and losing yeah. a lot of sleep, and, and, uh, and, and it suffers. It, it shows. But that's good that you're preparing. It's great mm -hmm. that you're doing you know, the, the due diligence. Is St. Olaf, is it in a, in, a, in, a, in a city? Is it rural? Is it like in the woods? Do you it's... have to take a camel to get there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Down I have, a to, take, river or I have to Yeah. It would be more like getting a cow, though. <laughs> like, they're. Um, it's out in the middle of the boonies, so it's just literally like you drive for miles and miles and miles, and all you see are like fields and fields of corn and hay and all kinds of stuff. But um, we live on a hill, so it gets real cold in the winter. Yes, I can. Well, yes, Minnesota. <sighs> Holy cow! It gets very, very cold. Yeah. But so, so on. <clears throat> excuse me. On campus life, and there must be things there available for you. They must have the the mixer and, and the. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the, the big football team. Um, we're not much of a. We're not <laughs> m really big on athletics. I mean, we have a good athletics program. I'm sure you do. Um, but it's definitely more of an artsy. No artsy one's school. going there to play in the NFL. In other Ew. words, not probably not. But I'm they are. Say going, no. <laughs> no, but they're going there to play for the Philadelphia Philharmonic and, and for yeah. things like that. Yeah. And, and I think that that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. That that there's that kind of a, kind of an atmosphere. Yeah. You're a very arty person, so yes. to have that kind of thing. To be surrounded by that kind of thing is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, uh, we were both working with kids yes. last year. <laughs> and uh, ha have you continued to do that? I am you... still working with kids, yeah. What um, are you going to be doing? I'm doing the same thing I've been doing the last few years. So okay. I am the choreographer for a music theater program mm -hmm. at Indian Hill Music School in Littleton, Massachusetts. Good. Good. Um, and I am working on all the choreography for Beauty and the Beast Jr. So it's been a. You're always doing these abbreviated shows. I know, shows. I know, because they're for kids. That's right, that's right. That's they're right. for little kids. That's right. That's I know. Right. What's the age group you're with? I am working with kids from age eight to age seventeen. Okay. So it's a big range, but it's um, it's actually it's interesting because I never worked with 
my kids before were kind of more in the 8 to like 12 range. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty easy to kind of deal with that age range, and I knew kind of what I was doing. But now that we have 8 to 17, I mean, it's, they're only like, they're not that much younger than I am. Yeah. So there's, you know, having to deal with the kids who know what they're doing and who have been in a lot of theater and then having to deal with the kid who's like in the corner and like looking off and picking his nose. Yeah. And then, you know, you have to kind of deal with all that at the same time when we have rehearsals. That's because... a different skill set. Oh, right? yeah. The kids that, that kind of have a... Oh, yeah. Because when you're getting to that age, I mean, you have a little more confidence probably in yourself. And you right. Kind of, you've kind of fallen off the stage already once or twice yeah. and, and tripped over the lights or what have you. So you've got some kind of stage experience. Right. Um, <clears throat> how do we how do we approach those kids? Is it more of a is it less mentoring and more coaching, or is it? Because um, when, I, when I consider mentoring, I mean kind of like showing them the ropes, mm -hmm. or but uh, but coaching is more on the theatrical side right. of it. How to not upstage somebody. Right. I think um, I think it's a combination of both. The program that Indian Hill um, and this summer program does is we we really do try and kind of not only give the kids a great time and have them have fun with all the stuff that we're doing and the music and the acting and the dancing, but to actually kind of train them and get them ready for um, where they may go next. Some of them want to do theater. Uh, the girl who's 17 wants to go to Tisch. So getting some of these kids who are more interested in theater the right kind of environment where they can learn and yeah. where they can really accelerate from right, there. Right. Um, so I think it's a combination of both. <clears throat> I mean, the kids who are eight years old standing around picking their nose, uh, there's a lot of patience <laughs> that has to happen with that. Some of those kids have an awful lot of talent, too. Some oh, of those, yeah. Some of those kids know their traps, too. Yeah, and I think all of the kids that I'm working with these, this year and in the past, they're all, I'm always kind of blown away by how fast they can pick things right, up. Right. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun to kind of work with to work with kids. And... Now, will you be doing um, several different levels of Beauty and the Beast, or, or is, is it, was it Beauty and the Beast? Beast or... Junior. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Junior. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one. <laughs> will you be doing uh, uh, different levels of it, or will the eighth graders be on? Will the eight-year-olds be on stage with the seventeen-year-olds? Yes, and it's all one big production, mm. which is actually kind of nice though, because the little eight-year-old is Chip. So we just stick him in the cart, and he has it's this really cute little contraption. He comes out, in and his head is kind of peeking over the edge. Um, and then the seventeen-year-old is playing Mrs. Potts. So mother and child. So mm. it works out pretty well. It's it's not actually, I was a little hesitant at first with the age range because I was like, geez, that's a big age, age range yeah. to have. But it, it, it's worked out fine. It's actually yeah, You're right. Benefited. You can cast it probably better. Yeah. It's easier to cast yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, uh, how is the music part going to be handled? Uh, is there going to be live music or are we coming off of, going to be live music? We're actually going to use a track. Um, okay. I think in the past they have tried different different ideas and different things and they've used live music and sometimes it doesn't work out too well but we've been practicing with the music director and he's great and he's gonna um, kind of stand in the back and kind of cue the kids so they mm -hmm. know when to come in and how long have you been at it uh, about a week and, about a, half. Week and a half so it's well, no that's it's, yeah. it, it's escalated too because there's when's the program um it's running this month so july 19th 20th and 21st yeah so, so. It's, it's get up get get ready long yes. days yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, we went um, for actually for a few days because some of the kids didn't get out of school because right. of the snow days. Of the snow. Um, we had to extend the days. We went from nine till five. That's so, a long day. It's a long day, but um, we got we got a lot of stuff in. Mm -hmm. So, are you good. inside or outside? Inside. All right, me too. Yes, and it's air conditioned. <laughs> and it's air it's conditioned. air conditioned, and it's great, and I love it because <laughs> I have the kids in the morning, and I I'm the dance choreographer person so not only am I sweaty and hot but I have to deal with all yeah. the little hot and sweaty middle school kids right. and they well, just we get so outside. irritated. You were outside last I year. I wasn't but I wasn't in air conditioning. No, okay, yeah. We had yeah, no yeah, AC yeah. so yeah. it was like just as bad. Just as bad because yeah. you're inside. No movement stuffy. to the air and it's awful nope. stuffy. Nope. Um, well that's very exciting. Now will there be a program in, in August as well? Uh, no. This is just. So you're going to get the, August off? Yes. Well that's so, nice. That's nice. going to be yeah. good. Um, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to ask you about about college? Um, um, are there things? Are there music events on on campus? Is okay. there a place for, for like the student center where you can go and and, uh, and and listen to some local music and stuff like that? And, yeah, there's. And um, who's hiring the bands? <laughs> yeah, well, there's um, actually it's great because Northfield has. We have two colleges actually in Northfield, so there's St. Olaf and there's Carleton. So, um, it's Carlton's a... Carlton's bigger, isn't it? Carlton is actually the same. It's about the same size. Same size? Um, but we... There's kind of a nice relationship that we have with the town. 
Um, and there are some local restaurants and bars and um, cafes that'll hire students from the different hmm. schools. Are and you, you can working? Just, yeah, well, not there, but no, I'm but working like the summer, yeah. No, but you're not working at school? No. 100% no, right into the books? Yes. Well, that's great. I mean, it's very exciting, and we're very proud and happy that you're back with us. I'm happy I'm here. Yes. And, um, <laughs> Uh, it'd be great to get some film of what you're doing with the sure. kids and maybe even sure. if we could arrange maybe get a kid or two to come out and talk about their experience. Sure, at that the would end. be cool. I mean, that'd be fun to get some parents uh, and some students out I'm here. I'm sure they would love it. I got some big hams in my group. So. Yeah, just to come and talk about it. Definitely. Because there's no one better to explain to us, you know, how what the experience sure. is in the, yeah. than the kids with the paint on. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and all that. Listen, yeah. I, want, I do want to take a couple of seconds, if I can, please, uh, just to talk a little bit about uh, the reason why we're here and how we got ourselves on the air here. We're very, uh, very appreciative and proud of our affiliation with the Boston Main Streets program. Boston Main Streets is an organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city of Boston. There's about 19 of them. And what they do is they work with the property owners to make sure they know who's living in the community that they're putting their new business into. And the business owners who are now renting that storefront, we help them make them look nice and appealing and get people into their store to, to get the kinds of things that they want. And then there's also that pro promotions committee that does an amazing job getting people down to the business district by throwing farmers markets and different tastes of here and there and uh, different events for the community. So uh, make sure that when you see a Main Street event going on, thank them because they are helping keep this program on the air. They help us to make sure that we have a, a voice for for artists and artisans and keep you informed as to what's going on artistically around the Boston, greater Boston area. Because as everybody knows, you can get to this show by going to www.bnntv.org and clicking on what's playing right now. And what that does is it gets you anywhere in the world. We've got people from that are out in Portland, Oregon that, that, that tune into this show. Hello, Kirsten and Duane. I wanted to make sure I say hello to them. We've got people in upper state New York. We've got people in New Jersey. We've got people in Illinois that really tune, tune, tune in all the time to, to check out the show. Not because of me, but because we had a guest on that they knew. It was a family member of theirs, and they watched the show from there, and, and they figured, hey, this isn't... This is kind of informative, so they kind of tune in when they can, and we really appreciate everything that they do. Um, but you can come in. So I want to thank Main Street, uh, Main Street for being our, our supporter. Uh, it's, a, it's a great relationship that we have with them. Uh, I'm on the board of, I've been on the board of directors for 18 years and out in Rosendale, and Rosendale has done some phenomenal things with their business district and their community at large. So. We want to make sure we thank them. And I also want to take a second or two to talk a little bit about this phenomenal building that we're in. Uh, it used to be, yo, those years ago, for all you veteran Bostonians, this is the power station that, that helped energize the uh, Orange Line from Forest Hills to downtown. This is where they got the power to run that elevated MBTA Orange Line that used to rattle through the city. Uh, and since they took that down and what have you, and they no longer needed this power station, uh, the BNN TV uh, with, the, with the partnership of some great organizations around, around the city of Boston, Urban, Urban Edge and, and, and the city of Boston, uh, bought this building and turned it into our television studios, A and B. We're coming to you from Studio B right now. And you too can come in here and do television programming. This is the way it's done. The station you're watching right now, if you're on RCN, you're watching Channel 15. If you're on Comcast, you're watching Channel 9. And what the, uh, the whole thing is, is that it's an opportunity for your nonprofit to get in here and talk a little bit about your mission statement, let people know what you're doing for your community, let uh, the community know how they can get involved with you, uh, to if they, if they are of like mind with your nonprofit and they want to participate in getting some of uh, the work that you feel so richly this city needs that you can prov provide them with any kind of service, this is where you find those people. Bring in a uh, guest to come in and talk about what your mission is. Get the word out so people will know all about it. The other side of being in is where you become a member and it's access. You come in and you take some classes on Final Cut Pro, lighting, some sound uh, engineering classes. You come and find out how to use Photoshop. You come in and learn how to do some do, uh, field shooting. You learn how to use all of these phenomenal cameras and all these great equipment that they have here. And then you do television. You decide what you want to do and you shoot it. You come back here, you edit it, and you get it on TV. And that's the way 
Access TV works. And if you think that that's something that you'd enjoy doing and you want to be part of, please go to www.bnntv.org. Click on Janice Williams' name. She's the manager of the uh, membership, and she has all of those answers. Or, and I like to throw him out there, too, because Jim Atwood is, is Access. He is Access TV. Jim Atwood's been involved in this for, since uh, all those many years when it was a brand new idea. So if there's anyone that knows their way around it and knows all of the, the tough answers to the tough questions, Jim Atwood's the guy. So uh, that's how you get, get here to get to do some TV. www.bnntv.org gets you uh, here to do some, uh, do your own television programming. It's a great, great experience. People love it, don't they? Yes. Is there yes, a they is, do. <laughs> is there a television or media center up, up uh, out, in, out, out to college? Yeah, we have a radio station and all that jazzy stuff. But since it's not like a big communications, we don't even have a communications program there mm -hmm. so um, there isn't we don't have any of this cool stuff there but this is cool I know yeah this is state-of-the-art in here we have a we have they put in a new green screen which we're gonna play, play with in a couple of weeks yeah we're gonna find some things to put up on that <laughs> and that will be fun to do won't it yes it will well I want to tell you thank you for coming uh, coming in uh, do you have any uh, program ideas we should be thinking about or any know. things that we want to talk about I don't know. Oh, you where? know what I did go to see? I did go what to did see. What did you go see? And I was thinking about you when we went to see it was um, Looped. We went to the Majestic Theater to oh, see Looped. I in heard Tulalo, about Tulalo, that. Tulalo, not Toledo Bankhead, but um, oh boy, I can't, I can't think of it. But it was in a, it was in a, it was a great experience. Yeah. The theater experience. Uh, Janice, uh, the super producer Janice and I went with some friends uh -huh. and we kind of sat and enjoyed it. And uh, Stephanie Powers was, was, was the star okay. from Heart to Heart okay. way before your time. <laughs> and uh, it, it was so much fun to go to the theater, get dressed up, mm -hmm. and that whole walking in and, fun, you know, just it was so much fun. Yeah. But I, was, I, I actually thought of you. I said, ah, oh, the theater. Oh. <laughs> the theater. <laughs> Maybe it should be here. It's the, it's the good old classic, you know, theater stuff. It's what, you know, I mean, I'm a theater geek. Yeah, so. it's a, and it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. And, and to, to, to just be there and to see all the workings. And, and I'm, I'm mm -hmm. all like, look around and see oh, what yeah. everybody else is yeah. doing. Oh, you know, yeah. It's part like of the I, fun. Yeah, That's yeah, part absolutely. of the fun. You sit there and gawk at everybody <laughs> and look at the person upstairs and look at me. Yeah, and and check out the soundboard. Yeah. And all. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the fun. Yeah, you got to do it. Is, it is. It is. Yep. Well, Mamie, thanks for being here. You'll come up at the end. We'll talk. Yep. We'll close the show sure. together, I'm yes, sure. Of course. We have got an, 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 a, a great, great guest coming up. Um, we are uh, one of the premier artists in, in the city, and we're very, very lucky to have her here with us uh, today. Uh, uh, you're going to get a chance to meet her in just a very, very few minutes. But we're going to roll a couple of, couple of videos, I think, you know, just to, to roll us out of here. And... Uh, Please remember, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and of course, this is Mamie Sue here back. We're so proud to have her back with us. And we're very proud of her and all the work she's done at school. I'm not going to ask you what your grade is. <laughs> They're not bad. They're not bad. I did uh, well. Oh, uh, you did well? I did well. That's all I need to I worked hard. I'm sure you grades. did. Well, to tell me that during finals, you had a chance to take a break. I did. That's, I worked. That's working hard. I know. <laughs> I'm alive still. Well, oh. well, knowing knowing your work <laughs> ethic, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna breeze through this, and it's gonna be a great fun experience yeah. for you. You know. For sure. Yeah. Just don't fall in love. That's all. <laughs> no. Not it's not like her dad. Now, uh, listen, gang, <laughs> hang in there. You're watching BN TV's. It's all about us. Like I said, I'm Glenn. This is Mimi. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please do not go away. Thank you.
Wisdom is not the product of schooling, but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. Learning is more than getting a good grade. It is learning about yourself, others, and the world in which you live. This learning will help you to make good judgments and serves as the basis of wisdom. Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. My name is Glenn Williams. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. We're coming to you live from Studio B, and you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. Give us a call, 617-708-3290. And if there's a block on your phone, Star 82 gets you through all of that stuff. Right to Dave and the great staff of BNN in the other room who are answering phones. They're not screening calls. They're answering them and sending them right out here to us. So listen, gang, it is my great, great pleasure and honor to introduce everybody to Hilary Bouvier. Hello, Hilary. Hi, Glenn. How are you, dear? Great, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. I really appreciate having you here. Uh, I want to thank you very much for, for, uh, for stepping up and, and being a part of this program. Um, you are a, a fabulous artist, and I'm going to ask you the question that I, I usually ask people, you know, it's kind of a, it's a tough question sometimes, but... If you had to categorize yourself as, as a kind of an artist, I'm a bad artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to agree with me so quickly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you had to categorize, like, you know, an impressionist, a, a printer, what, what kind of an artist would you say that you do? Mm -hmm. It's a tough question. I sort of dabble in everything, mm -hmm. um, but usually I just like simple mediums so mm -hmm. things that are really accessible i don't like to spend a lot of money on my mm -hmm. crafts or mm -hmm. artwork are you doing are you doing crafts are you doing painting are you doing are you, are you kind of mixing well how how are we doing this what is it everything everything yeah this is cool so. i heard the word macrame mm -hmm. is that what you do you do some of that explain what that is please so macrame um i use a string and i basically tie lots of different knots to make that string turn into something. So okay. I've made bowls, I've made bags. Oh, really? I make jewelry. Um, and it actually started when I was traveling in Costa Rica. I met some artisans, and at the time I just had surgery on my wrist. Oh. So I couldn't do the regular art that I was doing, which was drawing and painting. And it was a good sort of physical therapy for me. So yeah, I got using really your fingers and getting it. and it worked. Mm -hmm. Put your hand back in. Yeah. Wrist surgery. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I had wrist surgery on this hand. Now they're telling me I'm going to need it over here for carpal tunnel. Oh, how did you get that? I don't know. I don't do anything. I thought you were an <laughs> no, artist. I thought you were a bad artist. A bad artist. Yeah. I am. No, I think it's from playing, but it's it's just it's these things. It's, yeah. It's not about me. It's about you. But your wrist is all better now. Yeah. And so I, you were drawing and painting mm -hmm. in Costa Rica. No. So in college and in high school mm -hmm. and just on my own. And then in college, I took a painting class where I had to build my own canvases. Oh wow, that's and cool. And from sawing, oh. I think that's what injured my wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. you went and they had it fixed. Well, mm -hmm. that's good. So the macrame kind of was a, originally a therapeutic type of thing, yeah. but you, you found an, an, an interest in love with it. And now, yeah. you, you know, it's part of what you do. Mm -hmm. That's great. When you were painting, were you painting with oils or acrylics or watercolors? Or what was your fave? Acrylics. Acrylics, yeah. Because watercolor takes a lot of patience. Yes. And oils also take a lot takes of patience. So, it, it takes forever to paint yeah. with oil. And watercolors, either, you, either you, you, if you can't, if you don't, you, brown paper is what I end up with sometimes, just because it's just, <laughs> you just, everything runs together. Yeah. You know, and acrylic is very, I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding the word easy or simple, but it's very rewarding. Yes. Uh, and the colors are fabulous. You know, if you, if you, do you do abstract type work? Do you do portraits? Do you do landscapes? What kind of things are you into? Um, I like portraits. A lot. Okay. And landscapes, not so much. Mm. Still life, mm -hmm. neither. With my drawings, it's a little, it's weird. Mm. But yeah. do you, do you do you draw constantly? Is it something like you always have a little pack, a little pad of paper with you, or something to? 
Um, I'd like to say no, yeah. so, but recently I've been so busy that unfortunately not as much, but mm -hmm. art is something that is always a part of my life, something that I always try to do at least a couple times a week. Oh, that's good. So, that's good. Yeah. And it keeps, and, and it's something that is so, keeps you together and it's, and it's rewarding mm -hmm. and, um, uh, you know, I, I, I I love it when, when people just do it because they love to do it and not because it's a business or not because it's something that, you know, they're being driven to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but enjoy it. It's something that you enjoy and you enjoy doing it. Do you have a space that you kind of can donate to that or is it anywhere in the, on the couch in front of the TV, right? Yeah. yeah. It can be anything. Yeah. You mentioned craft. Now, are you calling some of your work craft and some of your work art? Or is it, do they actually blend together in, in, in some kind of a um, mosh? That's a good question. They sort of blend in together, because even my crafts are artful, as you would call mm -hmm. them. Well, I don't think anything you do with your hands or anything that you create mm -hmm. that's, that, that to anyone's eye is pleasurable is not art. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have a, I have a, I have a, I've always had a problem with where does craft end and turn into art. Right. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, it's, it's beauty, you know, and if it takes your talent and it takes some of your skill to get it done, I think it's art. Mm -hmm. It's very artful, you know, and I think that it's beautiful. Um, uh, Bouvier is a beautiful name, but you're not related to... Marge that, Simpson? <laughs> Oh. I was going to say Jackie oh. Kennedy. Oh, that's right, her. Um, no, neither of them. Oh. I'd like to say maybe. It'd, it'd be nice distance. to be related to Marge Simpson. You know, yeah. you're probably right. But in France, Bouvier is as common as Smith yeah. or Johnson is in the U.S. Well, okay, so. <laughs> it's a silly question, isn't it? I'm sorry. No. Um, we do have some some images, some some pieces of yours to take a look at. I'm very excited. All right. Are Let's you? Take a look. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, good. Why don't we pick one up? Here's one right here. All right, so this is a bag that was, um, somebody had asked me to do for one of their friends. It was for their 50th birthday. About how big is this? It's pretty small. It's uh -huh. like a little pouch. Uh-huh. And um, inside the bag, all the friends were going to put little, um, little, little messages. Oh, or nice. Little things to make. Now, what's the material here? Is this... So the top part is macrame, uh -huh. and then the fabric is fabric that I've collected along my travels. So mm -hmm. that is silk from Laos. Oh, wow. Very beautiful. Thank you. This is another bag that I made for a friend. It fits a passport. <laughs> and that is raw silk from Thailand, and then the top part is macrame. Beautiful. I love the colors. So, um, I also make jewelry, so this was a pair of earrings. Very cool. Ma is it macrame around? Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I sort of weave it in a circle, so it's just hundreds, sometimes thousands of different knots. Whew. There's a bead in the center. Uh huh. And those are bracelets that I make. Very sharp. Very, very cool. And the material that I use is um, sort of a polyester. Hmm. So I can melt the ends of it, so there's no oh. extra like big knots in the back. Um, and it's not going to unravel. No, it's a nice finish, and it's very durable. It doesn't get dirty. Very cool. And that's a necklace that I made. I like that. So I always think that I know what I'm going to make when I start these projects. Yeah. But the knots kind of take it into a different direction. You can't really plan them so much. So what I like about these is that they kind of surprise me too. Oh, well, that's good. That's good because I, I think art should be an adventure, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I love these guys, these, these artists that kind of map it out and and the this, this sketches, the whole thing, and kind of know where they're going to be before they get there. But I think it's more fun to to, to grow and yeah. live it, turn it into a thing. I agree. Who's this guy? So this is a logo that I did for a company that I worked for, Mimi Green, and uh, they designed dog apparel. <laughs> and this little guy was our office mate. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. 
Where is this? This looks like some kind of a show or something. Yeah, this was a show, I believe, in Las Vegas, and this was their. It was a trade show. This was did you get stand. any of the, any of your stuff in there, or did you just do the logo? Um, I did the logo, but I also helped um, fabricate some of their um, collars and T-shirts. Very, very and neat. This is a portrait that somebody asked me to do for them. He, this guy, is actually a enters Hemingway lookalike contest. <laughs> I was and gonna so say. He wanted this portrait for his business cards. That's very, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is well, this a game is that I made up with a friend. A game? You, yeah, you okay. know how you always say go out there and do something artful? I do. So this game is actually collaborative. And it's called RPM Random Postcard Masterpiece. Okay. And what you do is sort of like in Pictionary, you write words down on pieces of paper, and then you'll draw out random words, about six, and you'll each have to draw your interpretation of what those combined words mean. And on the other side, you write a postcard to a friend, and you ask them to title your drawing without telling them what it is. That. Is, and mail it to them? And you mail it to them. That is cool. So they get art in the mail. I love art in the mail. Yeah. So that was one of them. This is another one. I'll and you can it. tell that they're <laughs> quite random. This is um, uh, worms with a microwave. <laughs> Microwaving worms. <laughs> yeah, no? that sounds I'm sorry. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Only on rye bread. And this, this is, is cool. another one. It was, I think the words were Frida Kahlo, cactus, tap dancing, cheese, lobotomy, and <laughs> nebula. So that's great. That was my interpretation of this. Yeah, that's great. So, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, the, every, every piece, you, almost every piece you've said, you said, I did this for someone, I did this for someone. Mm -hmm. Are you a consignment type person where people come to you and say, will you please make me a... Yeah. Is that the? But you must just do out things of favors. For yourselves too. For yourself too. Yeah, I, I've kept some of my jewelry. I and, hope so. But I usually give it away, hmm. mostly to my mom. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, she likes my art. So this is definitely. I'm. I'm. I'm so. Um, uh, really, not relieved, but I'm so refreshed that you're an artist who just is an artist. Mm, thank Makes you. Makes things and gives them to friends and. And, and, and mom. Mm -hmm. and, and mom. That's, and you've, ex you've traveled to some fascinating places. Laos? Mm -hmm. What did you do there? So I went to high school in Indonesia. And it was so close to all these other exotic countries that it was really easy to travel during holidays. Are you, fr are you French? Half you're fr French. You're half from Fran Where are you from? I'm from Paris. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. And how long have you been, been uh, here in, in Jamaica Plain? <laughs> um, do, you, do you live in the city? I live in the city. Okay, I live good. in Boston. Good. Um, I've been here since December. You've just gotten here. Mm -hmm. So I'm so proud and happy to have you here. Yeah, with I love us. it here. Isn't it great? I mean, uh, Boston just has such great things for us. Yeah. Culturally and, and artist, uh, the arts. Have you, you haven't been to SOA yet, have you, down to the South End? First Fridays and stuff, all of that, where they open mm -mm. up all the markets on to no. do it. Okay. It should be on in your bucket because it's it's there's just so many things around the city that we're gonna want to cram in there because it's 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 such a fantastic place to be. Yeah, I'm um, excited. Hillary, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No, no, thank you for being here. Um, uh, I'll let everybody in on, on on a little bit of a secret. We had we had someone that couldn't make it tonight and. Uh, um, and I asked Hillary to, to step in, and you did. And you're fabulous, and you did a great job. You were a super guest. Thank you. Thank you for coming in on such short notice. Um, um, do you have a website where people can go and check out all your stuff? No. See, that's what I mean. You're such a pure artist. You, you just do it. Yeah. And, and if you, you had to have been watching the show tonight to see some of your stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to call it stuff. I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of stuff. And <laughs> on my computer, the folder where I save images for my art is called junk. Mine's so. called stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Nice. Hillary, thank you so much for, for coming in. No, it's been a pleasure. Uh, come back again anytime you want. I mean, really, uh, I love because of your traveling and your experiences around that if you do get out to Soar, or if you do go out to some of these open mm -hmm. studios around, to come back and let us know what, what you think of, of how Boston's doing it. I mean, like, you know, we try very, very hard right. to be. I've even seen people walking around with, with t shirts that say London, Paris, Roslindale. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Because we we consider ourselves to be you know uh, a pretty pretty decent artful community. Mm -hmm. So, but you've been to you know the ones uh, the, the the real not the real ones. Sorry, Boston, yeah. I didn't mean that. But uh, the, the ones that are in com competition with yeah. us. So. Well, Boston seems exotic to people in Paris, perhaps. Yeah, probably so. it does. But yeah. we're just babies compared to Paris. We're only a couple hundred years old. You know, it's not like we've been around for we haven't been at it as long. I think. Yeah, but maybe you've got more punch to you or something. <laughs> a little more chutzpah. Yeah. Hillary, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, listen, gang, we'll be back in just a couple of seconds. Don't go away. We're going to show another quick video and may maybe be back up with us uh, to close the show. Once again, thank you, Hillary, very much for being here with us. We appreciate it. Uh, hang in there, gang. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. You are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn, and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in with us there. Mamie's back. That was nice, Hillary, huh? Yeah, she was super cool. She was very, very cool. And <laughs> I love that, you know, someone who's traveled all over the place and gotten all around the world and, you know, is kind of, uh, and found us here in Boston. I know. And it's, uh, I, I, I obviously, we're obviously considered, we consider ourselves a world-class city, but it's nice to talk to someone that's been around and looks at us and says, you know, hey, Boston's kind of cool, too, you know? <laughs> yeah. That it's is kind of fun. Um, when do you go back to school? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> September too, sometime. Too soon. Sometime in September. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't really thought about that yet. I'm really? just kind of focusing on summer and trying to enjoy myself. And then once that rolls around, I can worry about that then. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you, July sounds like it's going to be pretty busy for you. You get yeah. this whole gig coming up. How many shows are they going to do at the end of July? Uh, three. Three shows? Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll, be, we'll, we'll obviously be talking about them up until then, so we'll be getting the times and stuff. Where is, where, where is it again? In Littleton? In Littleton, yeah. Not Littleton, New Hampshire. No, 
Little, Littleton, Mass. Because yeah. Littleton, New Hampshire is a really cool place. You I'm should sure. you should go check it out. It's way up in the mountains, and well, it's kind, kind of a cool place to be. Um, so, is there anything you want to add to to let us know about anything that's going on? Are you going to do any dancing or theater yourself this summer? I actually, it's funny you mention that. Um, I actually got kind of this crazy um, opportunity to dance with my dance teacher from high school, who is kind of like my idol. So mm -hmm. it was really cool. Um, I went back to. Uh, my high school for an alumni weekend and to kind of just say hi to people and uh, my dance teachers came up to me at graduation and was like do you want to dance in our alumni show and I was like yeah and I was kind of thinking to myself this whole time how do you get to dance in this show because wow. it's kind of like you know your dream as a as a, as a dancer, um, you know. Apparently you get asked. I guess so. That's how you get invited. So um, I, you know, I we started rehearsals and in true kind of artistic fashion, we spent three days in yeah. the studio working our butts off for in, yeah. three or four hours a day trying to put it together. And first day, it was just me and my dance teacher, and we didn't have the whole cast together until the day before the show. Um, which well, what kind of performance was it? Was it just a just a, just different dance routines, mm -hmm. or was there was there actually a story involved? Um, the way that it's we do modern. So, and I want to first say, like, a disclaimer on modern. It's not like everybody is dancing in, like, unitards to no music. I they're promise not all, they're you. They're not all in black. No, no, no. I promise you. That's kind of, like the, like, the misconception or the general. I mean, that's what I think of when someone's, like, oh, modern. Like, you think of people, like, moving, like, weird with no music and, like, writhing on the floor. It's not that weird. So um, <laughs> what we do is we kind of all came up with, um, I came up with a single phrase, just kind of like a combination type thing. Um, and then everybody else there were, I think, about five of us. Um, and everyone had a different combination. And Combination? Yeah. You mean dance? Kind of couple set. Couple of steps. Yeah. yeah, okay. Like a set. Okay. Um, and the first one we did, we, we kind of have this thing that my dance teacher calls, like, we make cousins to it. So the first girl had this really kind of bizarre combination where she had some kind of like squirrel action she was doing. Like she had stuff where she was doing this with, I mean that doesn't give modern any justice, but it was kind of this weird like, I saw my first thought was like, how on earth am I supposed to do this? Like mm -hmm. seriously. And my dance teacher was like, okay, we're all gonna make like cousins out of it. So what that means is that you're gonna take the movement. So let's say like the pawing, do something similar to it. So not the actual pine, but something with your hands. Do something different with your hands or your body or something that's similar to it. So mimic all of her movement throughout the entire thing. So that's what we did. So all the rest of us um, made our own cousins to it. And then at certain points, we would all do the same thing. So she had this really cool thing where she like tapped her, like, her chest five times. And we all did, a, did that at the exact same time. So we kind of could So that converge. was the thing that kind of brought yeah. you back. Yeah. Okay. So we opened up kind of we opened up the piece with someone else's combination, and I, we actually closed the piece with mine, which was. So everyone really gets a chance cool. to kind of do. Is this improv as it's going on, or no. is it, is it no. rehearsal? Yeah, Don't yeah, yeah. No. Say. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's rehearsed, and it was really cool to be able to come up with a combination, and then not only teach. People, but teach older people and right. teach my dance instructor. Now, and, and I'm going to ask you this because you were probably one of the fresh people right in, first time, you know, with your teachers and, 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 and yeah, yeah, older, yeah, yeah. older dancers. Do you come up with a, a combination that would be that's something that you're comfortable doing, or do you bring up a find a combination that you know someone's going to be able to add this and add that, and maybe figure out a future? Yeah, huh. that's a funny question. Okay, so well, that's a good question. Um, I usually in this situation, I did what felt natural to me. Okay. Yeah. So I. So it was you. Yes, it was the essence of of my kind of like my dancing, what I do. So, um, but in other situations, like with my kids now, at school, uh, not at school, but at, at the program I'm teaching at, um, I do have to be very aware of no, no, <laughs> ages I, and, yeah. yeah, because it's a certain skill, you yes, know? Yes, yes. So, you know, I'm imagining, not, I'm not a dancer. I mean, mm -hmm. I can ballroom dance a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't, uh, I, <laughs> I was at an, I was, I was hosting an Irish 
at the Irish Ale at, at the Irish Social Club in West Roxbury, a, a Boston Strong event the other day. Oh, cool. And someone dragged me out there to do some dancing, and then there is absolutely no way <laughs> that I could dance to that. And I was, I'm saying to myself, gee, you know, I, I, can, I can dance a little a bit, I can keep beat and stuff, but boy, it was something entirely oh, yeah. different to me, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm guessing that you have to kind of know your know your participants. You know, and, and, and gear what you're doing towards them because you want it to be a successful right. thing. Now, do you not only figure out the combination, but you also figure out the, the bringing back, whatever brings people back to the thing, too? Sometimes. Um, in that specific case, we did. Um, in the, my combination that I taught to people, we didn't. Uh, everyone, it depends what my teacher thinks is going to look good. Uh, sometimes it's we do the cousin and then we all converge at one point. Right. Or we do what I did with mine and we all do the same thing. Um, to kind of finish up. But it was fun. It was so much fun. I could talk about this for days. <laughs> I'm a dancer. We've got all so <laughs> Well, here you go. <laughs> Mimi, thanks and welcome back. Thank so, you so it's much so for great having to have me. you back here. Hey, listen, gang, you've been watching. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. This was great. Hillary, thank you so much for, for being with us tonight. Your work is incredible. I loved your stuff. Isn't it great? It was so cool. Yeah, very, very <laughs> fun. Listen, gang, get out there and do something awful for yourself, okay? Listen, there's lots and lots of things going on around the city. If you go to canvasfinearts.com or do Canvas Fine Arts on Facebook, you'll find all different kind of cool things that are going on out there. Suzanne, we miss you. Hello. I hope everything's okay. Uh, listen, like I like to say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please do something awful. Do it for them. And we will see you next week, okay? Bye-bye now. Bye.